I get a lot of questions about what we do with the meat that we have left over after contests and big cooking events. And Memphis and May was just last weekend. As you can see, I've got a ton of pulled pork left over. And the most important thing I can tell you is that when you, when you have leftovers, dealing with leftovers, you got to get it out of that danger zone. I'm talking about between 40 degrees and 140 degrees. Once that meat's cooled down to below 140, you don't have a whole lot of time to get it in refrigeration. Now, when we're out at a contest, we have to get it on ice. And that means we get it bagged up in Ziploc bags, get it in a cooler, get a ton of ice on it, get it brought down quick, and it's okay. And once we get it home, we can put it in refrigeration. But what I like to do for longer storage life is to use a vacuum sealer. Now, I've just got a Food Saver brand. Um, the great thing about it is you can tear off bags in whatever size you like. And you just stuff it with your barbecue. And if you want, you know, if you're just using it for beans or you know something single portions, you make small bags. But I got a lot of friends and family, so we make big bags, and you know <clears throat> they get happy when they see us coming. But um, you see, I've got it rolled down, and that's because the machine likes a clean seal. And if you just leave the bags up, go to filling it, you're going to get fat and grease and all that meat products on it. But if you fold down a couple inches of it, you can unroll it, stick it in, and you got a good uh, clean piece of bag to make a seal. And that's all I do. I got it filled. Take my glove off there. I pull the clean part of my bag up and kind of mash it down a little. And then, not much to it. You just get it in there and line it up. Just don't want to overfill it. But that's all it is. The machine does all the work. Once I get it going. There it goes. Just suck it right on down. And the great thing about this vacuum seal bag is this meat will last for up to a week in the refrigerator once you get all the air of it off of it like this. But past that, once it gets nice and tight, then we'll stop sealed. You can put it in the freezer and instead of just lasting for a month or two and getting, you know, freezer burn and all that, this has got all the air off of it. It'll last for up to a year. When you go to reheat it in these vacuum seal bags, it makes a good seal enough to where you can just boil a pot of water Stick this bag down in the water, let it boil a few minutes if it's froze, about 15, 20, and then you got hot pork ready to go. If you let it thaw out in advance, it doesn't take long at all. Maybe 10 minutes and you've got good hot meat. But as you can see, you can take it, flatten it up. That's ready to go in your freezer. It takes up a lot less space. All the air is off of it, and that's how we put up barbecue killer hog style.